You guys, I got my computer. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this for like a long time. So expensive. But honestly, this is something that I use for my work like every single day. So it's something I absolutely need. Um, I also got these at Winners, these little facial razors. I'm actually debating on getting like the electronic ones. The one that I had was from Revlon. And even though I got new batteries, it didn't want to work. So I think it's broken. And you guys, I found this by Bio Oil. So right now, my dry skin is at like its ultimate peak. But right now, it's like really coming through. So I looked this up. Like before I buy things, I like to look it up and see. People with dry skin were like, it really works. So I'm going to try it out. It's like a pink gel. That's what it looks like, you guys. So I'm going to try it out, see if the hype matches what everyone else is saying. Um, but look at this sweater. Look how cute it is. And it was $34.99. Um, but I got it because one, it's soft. Two, because it's Calvin Klein. And three, because of this purple color. Purple is one of the only other like actual colors of the rainbow that I will wear, except for my neutrals. I have a neutral rainbow and then I have a normal color for a rainbow. So, look at her. I got her in space gray this time. Um, and I actually brought my new laptop slash office kind of bag that I love so much. This one is from Zara and I showed you guys on IG when I got it, kind of unboxed it there with you guys. And I brought my old box uh, computer, my monster computer. She called it a tank. I was like, don't disrespect my tank because that was the one I used for years. Um, but yeah, I brought it because I wanted to compare what this MacBook was like compared to mine. It's a tad bit smaller, but it's because of the rim around the screen. You guys, it's so much lighter. Oh my god. So, so I got the MacBook Pro instead of the Air. I was, she was trying to like give me suggestions, but you already know me. I already went there prepared with all my lists and everything and what I wanted. And she's like, oh damn, you are building a custom computer. Like you are not going for what I'm saying. She was trying to go for the lower end. And I'm like, honestly, I really want something that's going to last me for as long as my first one did. I don't want to spend two grand and have to come back here after three years. Like I want it to last me. So I decided to go with this one and I did some upgrades. If you guys want to know exactly what I got, it's right here. If you guys want to take a screenshot of this. I'm going to keep my other one as like a backup if anything happens. I want you to experience the moment with me, okay? Oh my god, my baby. Look at my baby. Look at her. Look at her. She's beautiful. I'm very, very, very protective of my new stuff. I'm so OCD when I have something new, especially when it's expensive. I'm like... Oh my god oh, look at her you guys she's so beautiful so i did decide to get the darker color wrong way. i love it i love it so 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 much cannot wait to set it up like look how sleek it looks uh, for me because i to like to try the main language press the return key no i know susan but right now see here's the thing um i'm we're vlogging so i got the 13 inch because of the size easy to travel the 16 inch is just like a monster like it's crazy it's really 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 big and the air is just a lot more like thin on the side but this one looks like this she's so much lighter than my last one and it only has the USB-C SD card where I have to put in all my recorded footage I can't even do that so I did get an adapter I'll actually show you guys this is the adapter I got it's so cute it was from Amazon by the way I'll link it down below it matches my computer y'all and it has the two USB plugs on this end. There's, and then it has the SD card slot, which I 1000% need for my footage. And then an HDMI, which I'm glad it came with because I use an HDMI cord to watch my shows that I watch from websites. Um, so I definitely needed that. And then you just plug it into your computer. But this one just honestly suited me best because of the size. I like to go net it sometimes. I like to travel. It's a lot lighter to kind of car carry with me. The mouse pad is even larger, you guys. Look how big that mouse pad is. So, also has the uh, touch bar. It has like all the little shortcuts. I'm so like happy. And honestly, I was just over my computer. It was not able to keep up with all my programs that are really heavy, especially Final Cut Pro. I'm really excited to just make my work life a lot easier with this. It is Monday, and I just finished um fixing up the walls because my dad took out the brackets and everything so now we have an empty closet i've taken everything out and finally you guys my mirror is up i'm so excited it's so super cute you guys and i can take photos here watch yourself and my beautiful beautiful stone vase in front of it like it looks so good once obviously everything is out of the way but this is what's going on over here 
Over here I have the stuff I took out from the closet. So it has my Christmas tree, my ornaments, some of my accessories like my scarf and stuff like that. And it's just kind of one big mess over here. Guys, I think something is really going on with her vase. There's like cracks, okay? So yeah, it's kind of scaring me. I think like in the summer I'm going to have to switch it. Over here in the corner beside my bed, you guys, it's everything that was in the left closet. You know, no, no, this was the stuff in the right closet. So, and then my bags are there, and my little craft box is there as well. Funny, you guys, I went to go pick this guy up, and it already broke over here, okay? Right over here. Like, yeah. So I went to go pick it up, and all I heard was... And when you go like this, they're kind of like... <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like breaking the rest of it. Yeah, guys, this is just not. Okay, so we're not gonna recommend this. Okay. <laughs> Next thing is this one over here. So now I've actually learned these guys are a lot more stronger because they're like thick in between. That's how it looks. Looks so super cute. So that's why I got the taller one. This one was for my lip glosses. I'm gonna have to get this style in the lip gloss one. I prefer the other one, but whatever. And this guy, I actually ordered another one of it because right now, this is where I put my makeup, but this is a new one that I got off of Amazon. It's actually a spice organizer, but it's really actually cool for lining up. Like for example, let's pretend this is foundation. I love it for foundation because everything just lines up. You can use it for honestly anything. This is really good because it's nice and low. Not too wide either if you're kind of stuck on space a little bit. So let's go through the New York stuff a little bit. So I ended up trying this from Kristen S. Um, you guys know I love their shampoo and conditioner. Got some extra shampoo and conditioner. That's what I've been using for about like, I would say five or six times now so that I really really like it the main thing I notice I don't I don't know if it's the collagen that I'm taking but when I comb my hair after my hair like is wet and I'm out of the shower normally that takes forever and it takes so much effort but I think this is really helping whoa like it is so just seamless very easy so since I loved her uh, shampoo conditioner I actually got her shine pomade that I use when I do like sleep ponytails and stuff like that um, I also have her texture spray, her wave texture spray, and then I wanted to try her dry shampoo, but it was sold out on um, well.ca, so I couldn't get it. So I did end up getting it at Target in New York when I was there, and I do love her dry shampoo, and all of these products smell the same. Got this at um, Dwayne Reed. I had to go there and get some like medication for when I wasn't feeling well, and then I saw these hair ties that are the color of like my ponytail. So I got them and I've literally been wearing them non-stop and that is the brand. I've never seen this brand here so it must only be in America, I guess. Got this color by Morphe which I am absolutely obsessed with, okay? I can also list them down below but Google is the best for swatches because you get to see like everybody's kind of skin tone and stuff like that. So this one by Morphe is actually a matte lipstick which I normally never go for because I don't really like matte. Boy toy. Oh my god, you guys, it is so freaking pretty. Like, I went to Ulta, and by the way, the Ulta downtown, New York City, so freaking busy. Like, the lineup was insane. It has a little bit of, like, another color, like a dusty rose on top of it, because I was mixing that day. It's, like, the most perfect, kind of a cool, like, darker nude. Oh my god, you guys, you have to look it up, and you have to get it. Like, just just get it. It doesn't even matter, okay? Because it's just amazing. Plus, you can always, like, top it off with some lip gloss. I just had to get a color from the KKW Beauty. I got nude number two. I've heard a lot of good things about her lipstick, so that's why I decided to try it out. Smells like a normal lipstick, and I love lipstick smell. I don't know how to, like, describe it. I know every lipstick has a different smell, but I just love the smell of lipstick. Um, this is her creamy lipstick, I believe. Yeah. Creme lipstick, yeah. So this one is on the creamy side. It is such a beautiful finish. By the way, you guys, my nails. So... I love them. The only freaking problem is that she kind of warned me that it doesn't last. And like, do you see the corner is already... Ugh. I had to like reshape them a little bit more because honestly, I think I have to find another new nail lady. She keeps like cutting me like on the side. Where is it over here? 
yeah like she cut me again and i'm like um you kind of cut me and she's like yeah i'm like yeah like that that's your response all right okay we can we can go with that so i love them like this is very different than i haven't done like honestly fringe tips and like I used to do them week after week after week when I had my fake nails when I was so much younger, you guys. This last thing I got from Ulta. So this by The Hair Edit and this is um, their Tame and Condition Multi-Use Designing, a uh, Detangling Comb, not Designing, <laughs> Detangling Comb. So I had one by the Macadamia brand, um, but I felt like the aesthetic of this one was so nice and the other one had like these coming all the way down so when you held it, it didn't have a handle. So I kind of like that this one's so much more comfortable and I just used this last night to comb through my hair and I love it. This is great to comb through your hair when your hair is wet, not dry. A couple things I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. So I'm actually low on my body wash and my bubble bath, but I was actually just thinking of using body wash as bubble bath so that it's like dual purpose and I don't have to buy two different products. So this one by Lift Clean, I've been buying so many of their products. This one is Argan Oil Replenishing Body Wash, moisturizes and refreshes, and it's 98% plant derived, SLS free and paraben free. And I do want to find like a really nice tall aesthetic bottle. I got like that really round one, but honestly they're not working out for me you guys. When I'm like actually using them they're not really practical because they're so thick and hard to grab i don't like when it shows all of this going on in my shower but i got that this guy i've been absolutely loving i told you guys i found this at winners i ended up buying a bigger one of it larger one the bio oil for dry skin i've been putting this on my skin day and night and i really noticed like my skin right now is getting very patchy so I've really been noticing that this is helping. It gives you this beautiful finish on your skin. This makes you feel so moisturized for hours, okay? And it's not just like for your face. You can use it anywhere on your body, your heels, hands. I rub this all over my hands too. It's great for my cuticles as well. Actually, one of you recommended this to me and I was looking for a tinted moisturizer. This is more for when I'm pale. This is not dark enough, but apparently they're gonna come out with darker shades, which I hope so. So this is really great if, like on a day like today where I'm not really doing much, but I still wanna look decent. It is a sunscreen, but it's a tinted sunscreen. Um, so this is a brand new one. So I'm currently using this one. Love the finish of it. It's really kind of, I would say silky because it's not crazy dewy um, and it's very ultra light. It feels very nice and thin. It's very like milky and I love the color of it, especially if you have like an olivey kind of undertone. You have like a warm undertone. They have one that's not tinted, but it does have 50 SPF in it, but I love it and it's so compact. Like look how skinny this is for travel. This I actually ordered some more bags from um, Amazon. I in larger sizes for when I freeze things inside of my freezer. So they are freezer safe. And obviously these are reusable so you don't have to use plastic bags all the time. But they're really nice and large as you guys can see. Like to put broccoli inside of here. Cut up spinach. Cut up collard greens. Stuff like that. So I needed some more. So the next dewy finish uh, setting spray. And I really have been liking it. It gives a really, really nice dewy finish, and I like how small it is too. Um, one of you said, please try the Milani highlighters, and I'm like, hmm, I actually saw that at the store, and they looked really, really good. I swatched it, and I'm like, okay, they're really, really gorgeous. And this one was like one of the last ones, and it has like a little crack here at the front, but I was like, I don't care. It is so, so, so nice, you guys. Um, really, really pigmented. This first one over here is like a pearly pink. The middle's for like when you want a J-Lo bronze. And then this one, you can honestly use as like a really dark bronzer. And I definitely would say it's really worth to get it. And as you guys can see, most of the stuff that I got was drugstore lipsticks because I don't like to spend too much, especially on lipsticks. Like I feel like they waste so frequently and I just like the affordable route. So this was recommended to me from uh, by Amy. So this is the Luminous Bronze Light Ambient Lighting Bronzer by Hourglass. So she said that this is like the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bronzer she's ever tried in her life. So um, I tried it out on my face and I was like, okay, it's really, really gorgeous. She's like, do you want to look like J-Lo? I'm like, yeah, I do. She's like, okay, then I'll show you what bronzer you need. <laughs> so it's really highly pigmented, so I don't like to put too much on my brush. So this was definitely, I believe this was $60, so it was a little bit more expensive, but I'm okay with stuff like this because I do love bronzer. And something like this is going to last you a really, really long time, so I don't mind. Um, I also got this and I wanted to show you guys, but it's more for my feedback because I don't really like it. 
I love the Almay um, bronzing lotion that I was using. It's like a, it's not a lotion, it's a foundation, but it's like bronze foundation. They obviously discontinued it because nobody has it anymore and it's the most amazing thing ever. And I'm like, why did you get rid of it? It's white, but it's, once you blend it, it's supposed to match. It has their smart shade, anti-aging skin tone matching makeup. Um, but I don't like it. It has like those little beads in it and it just I don't like the finish it makes me feel dry It's not up to my expectations and I really love that other one, but they don't have it anymore I feel like the lipsticks are gonna take forever. So this is my new favorite favorite eyeliner This is extreme lasting eye pencil has a very jelly finish by essence. This is like literally two or three dollars okay this one is called but first espresso that's the color it is so freaking gorgeous you guys it's just a really dark espresso brown um the only thing i don't like is that you have to sharpen it i like to find ones that are just like the roll up you don't have to the mechanical ones i have attempted this one <laughs> the revlon color stay you guys were giving me suggestions on eyeliner um, this one's a liquid liner and it's a sharp line. This is the one that I got. I'm trying to get into eyeliner slowly because I feel like if you're not used to wearing eyeliner, it's a really big change. These guys, I got a bunch of them because they were on sale at Sephora. So this one I got in color fawn and I also got color mink. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. But I'm using them as contour sticks. They're normally like 32 and I got them for 16 Two in the fawn and two in the mink. Their powder contour kit when I used to use it. I loved this color fawn because I like the greeny undertones for contour for my face. I don't like the red ones. I don't like the warm ones. They really blend nicely. So the mink is for when I'm tan and then the fawn is for when I'm like light tan, kind of fading tan. And they're like my new favorite like contour sticks. And I love that you can just kind of take one color with you when you're traveling, so it's really convenient. Okay, so this I'm so excited for. I've used it like two or three times, but Fenty Beauty, and this one is the Diamond Milk, but it is so gorgeous, like honestly, and I love the finish of it. My other favorite one is the Patrick Ta, She's Expensive. Amy got this for me for Christmas, but I ended up getting one for myself before. Obviously, I knew that. I'm like, the packaging is just everything. And I seriously have this in my purse because if I just want, like, bare lips, but I want some shine to them, this is what I put on. Then I got this guy. Again, I'm not really a matte person, but when I do want matte, I just go straight up nudes. This color is Latte To Go. Apparently, these are really, really good. And I asked Amy, and she said, yeah, they're really good. Then this is honestly my favorite, like, drugstore gloss because, number one, of course, affordable. Number two, it's creamy and non-sticky, but I love it. It is so creamy, and if you're looking, like, everybody needs a clear gloss, okay? But if you're looking for a really creamy one, this one is it, okay? Like, it is just so freaking gorgeous. But my lipstick, so this first one over here is by Marcel. It's called 700 Enchantment, and it's their cream lipstick. And for me, it's like this really kind of deeper mocha but like an undertone with some pinky in there but i really wanted to get like a wide range of different colors this one i'm like seriously in love with this is by annabelle and this color is anna so it's more of a like powdery darker pink like a dusty pink you guys i've worn it like already two or three times and i wore it in new york that's the color of it. It gives like a really dusty pink look to your lips. Like if you look up the swatch, it's just beautiful. This guy over here by L'Oreal. I got two of these by L'Oreal and everyone else is Maybelline. And this one is a Sephora one. So this one I got is color 800 and it's Ferris Nude. It kind of compares to the Marcel one, but the Marcel is definitely a darker kind of vibe to it. But it's a really, really gorgeous kind of neutral nude. Like looking them up on Google, again, you get to see them like in different lighting and stuff like that. So it might also help to do that. This one I'm obsessed with. Um, this is from the Sephora collection. And this one says made in Italy. And these ones are their, I believe, I mean, it's creamy, but it doesn't really say on here. Um, these guys are like $10, okay? Like, love it. It's like a really neutrally nude, but I'll show you guys a swatch of it, but... It's just gorgeous. I've actually worn this a few times too. It's 930 Truffle Tees. This is darker. It has more of like a brownie undertone. 920 Nude Lust. I wear this one all the time. It is so beautiful. So this one's actually really light, but I mixed it on my last day that I used it. 
This one's called Bare All, and it's color 910. That's a close-up of all three of them. So this one is very, very pale. Like, look at my skin tone. I'm super pale. This is to lighten any color or to kind of highlight in the middle of your lip. And this one has, like, more of a neutrally pinky, and then this one is, like, a darker nude. The top one is the pale one, and the middle one is the nude lust, literally light, medium, dark. So the top one is the Morphe one and the bottom one is the Kim K one. Okay, I had to show you guys this. The top one is made in Italy by Sephora and the bottom one is the KKW number two, the nude two. So hers has more of like a warm undertone whereas the top one has a slight bit more of a pinky tone. They're very, very close though, you guys. Like it's not a 100% dupe. Guys, I completely skipped over this one and it's like one of my new favorites. So this one is another of the L'Oreal, the 974. And this one is a full blown fawn. That's what it's called. So the top one is the fawn and the bottom one is the Ferris nude. So the Ferris nude is a lot more like a pinky nude. The top is the one that I wore in my, if you guys watched my Black Friday haul, that's the one that I'm wearing. So the top one here is the Annabelle one in Anna, and the bottom one is the Marcel one in Enchantment. You guys, the sun is out. Everything is a mess behind me, and I just want this closet to get installed so I can like literally clean everything up, but the sun though, giving me some glow. I have no makeup on today, you guys. I literally just have that bio oil on my face right now, but I'm super hungry because it's like two, almost three right now. And I figured we can make a brand new wrap that I've been making. I actually started making it last night. Wrap, and I have a little bit of the chicken from last night, but it's too little for the whole meal. But that's what it ends up looking like. It's really, really good. What kind of inspired me is the wraps from Booster Juice. You guys don't have that in the States, so yeah. It's probably gonna be hard to relate to that. But anyways, um, I'm going to be making a spinach chicken wrap. So I got these spinach wraps. By the way, my pan is getting a little bit hot for us because this is so quick, you guys. Like, really, really quick. These are by Casa Mendoza. And these are triple baked tortillas. And they're spinach. And what's beautiful about them is one, they're really, really large, first of all. Um, one of these is 190. So what I like to do is we're going to cut this burrito in half and make two sandwiches. I like to make it look like it's a lot on the plate. So we're gonna be using that. And I have over here my leftover chicken in my reusable bag. I like to buy chicken breast strips, okay? And you're literally just going to cut them into pieces. And you guys already know I love my scissors because it's just so quick. Some salsa. And I just bought mild and this one has cilantro in it. It's by President's Choice. The amazing thing about um, salsa is that it's so low calorie. Four tablespoons of this is only 20 calories, you guys. So after the actual wrap is all done, you can also put some on the side and dip your actual burrito or sandwich inside of there. I just got it on my shirt and it's so me to wear new stuff and get them dirty and then be upset that I got them dirty. Make sure there's enough in here so that it gets all over the chicken. Some salt in there, not a lot because the salsa already has it. Garlic, which is a must. There's no limit on the garlic. You can put as much as you want. <laughs> and onion powder. There's also no limit on this, but there's less of a limit on the garlic one. You mix this up and our pan is nice and hot already. Some olive oil inside of there. Dump all this in here. Have this on medium to high because you obviously want to cook this chicken really nice until it gets like kind of golden brown. In between, obviously move it around because you don't want it just to get stuck or anything. Or I get asked where I got my black plates and it's from the Real Canadian Superstore if you guys are from Canada. But if you're not, um, look at Ikea because I think they have black plates. I'm going to make this an extra spinachy kind of wrap. So I like to put a handful down on both of them. And we're gonna be using um, vegan cheese actually, even though this is not vegan. But the cheese I'm using, I actually cut out the um, nutrition facts at the back because I needed to remember how many calories it is. It's so low in calorie, you guys. A quarter cup of this is only 60 calories. Whereas like other cheese, like a third of a cup is like 120, okay? Um, so this is the one that I got. It tastes very similar to the Daya shredded cheese one, but guys, it looks like legit. Like, so this is what the chicken is gonna kind of look like. It's going to at first be like really watery because the sauce is gonna 
release all its waters and then you want all the sauce to kind of soak up this is the best way to do it and to know exactly how many calories you're having so i have a quarter cup measuring cup so this tells me that there's exactly 60 calories inside of here and we're actually going to split this up in between the two halves it's going to literally glue everything together you guys can also do the same with your chicken um put it inside of a measuring cup to know exactly how much you're having wrap is so simple like how quick did we whip this up so that's perfect now you're basically going to wrap them up but i'm going to wipe clean my pan because we're going to be using the same pan to kind of heat this up and get it really nice and golden brown you kind of have to just use your hands and really get in there and fold over the bottom first so that you can kind of lock it in so my pan is now warming up honestly this might happen like where the bottom opens up and that's just because this is really nice and full and they're half so they're kind of small but i'm going to add this inside of our pan because it's nice and hot right now i keep them on medium i'm actually going to turn them over right now because i have a feeling they're golden i have a feeling she golden yeah i like when mine just has like that golden touch at the top so if you guys really want to or you're taking this on the go you can get this is a full parchment piece of paper but i just chopped them into half Ooh, this one got really nicely golden on that side. Let's just take that piece of chicken. And you don't have to worry about that coming out. But this is a really quick and easy meal that you guys can literally whip up and eat. And I just have my water over here with my 310 lemonade in it. That's why it's pink because I use the watermelon one. It's my favorite. And lunch is ready. Make sure you guys try this out and maybe try out the cheese to kind of eliminate dairy. I like to eliminate dairy as much as I can. They're so good, you guys. Um, there's a Boohoo haul on my channel so that you guys can watch it. It is already live. A new What I Eat in a Day. There's more What I Eat in a Day is coming and more hauls. I'm doing a Shein haul next. And I am vlogging that closet kind of before and after for you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to become a part of my notification squad and click that notification bell right beside the subscribe button if you guys want to get notified every single time i post a brand new video and don't forget to follow me on ig it is at steph g macedo hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video